Hi. What's your name, may I ask? And tell me, how was your trip? How did it go? Did you have fun? Who was your favorite character to be? Which exhibit did you enjoy the most? Tell us your experience. Well, let me talk about my trip. First off, the trip was pretty smooth for going on the airplane. Went straight from Albuquerque Airport to LAX. That was pretty smooth. Not bad at all. After that, we arrived and then we took a shuttle to the hotel. And then after that, let's see. Oh, yeah. After that, we went and um, downstairs we were having cupcakes and we were meeting other people who uh, came um, to the trip. Well, after meeting them, called um i think i just went back to sleep no no, no i didn't go back to sleep i played on my uh, nintendo switch then um i was watching a movie while i was playing my switch then i went to sleep and when i woke up in the morning that's when we went to disneyland i went there saw the went straight through the gate went to downtown disney and may i say man the music is very awesome. It really puts you in that Disney vibe. I don't know how to say it. But there's a trance or something. But it really does that. And it works. It works. And the shops. There's shops all over. And um, restaurants. There's downtown Disney. Diners. I don't, it was pretty cool. I like designs. Downtown Disney was um, visually um, stunning. And architect architecturally very great. After that, um, the next day, that's when we went on rides. Um, I think the first ride we did was the Pirates of the Caribbean ride. And then after that, it was the Haunted Mansion one. I really, I really enjoyed both of those, especially the Pirates of the Caribbean ride. Because of the Pirates of the Caribbean ride, that's where um, you just sit down and enjoy the sights. Actually, both, both um, rides do the same. And, um, I find the Pirates of the Caribbean one, um, because nostalgia, and just, um, seeing the um, animatronics, uh, move, and that, that was really cool, and having a narrator, that was pretty cool, and then we went to, um, the Haunted Mansion one, I really like it, because the rides really feel unique, each ride feels unique, that's what I really like, um, about um Disney, especially the design, and the Haunted Mansion one was um the Nightmare Before Christmas themed, and that was really really cool. And um, holograms, the animatronics, all of that was great. After that, I think we went on um what's it called a boat ride, another boat ride, and um that was um. I don't know what they call it, but it was a comedic type of boat ride. And while you go on the river, I have the narrator. Hell, no, no, not narrator. Basically, an announcer on a boat, telling jokes and stuff. That was pretty fun and neat. Awesome, just the what's it called the design of that ride was pretty cool. After that, um, we went to um. I think the Galaxy Edge um, Star Wars um, attraction. That was my yes, we did. That was my favorite ride. I think while we were going there, before we um, went on a ride in that, we actually went on um, Splash Mountain. That ride was pretty fun. I really enjoyed it. it. Got really wet. But after that is when we went on the boat ride, and after the boat ride, we went to the Star Wars attraction. Now, let me start the Star Wars attraction. Star Wars is my favorite franchise. Franchise. Here we go. <laughs> well, anyways, as I said, favorite franchise. And uh, there's um, just the walking in, music playing, 
kind of put you through a trance and it made me feel like I was on a planet in the galaxy far, far, far away. And that was really awesome. And not, it was all detailed to the, down to the very bit. It really felt like a Star Wars um, town. And um, we always felt like I was on Star Wars planet. I really liked it, really enjoyed it. Went on the ride there. Saw the Millennium Falcon. Saw a couple of other um, ships. Yeah. And then uh, met Chewbacca on accident. Wow, that was pretty cool. Uh, Stormtroopers walking around were nice too. Um, what else do they have? Katina. There's, there's so much that you know, had there. And really, that was my favorite attraction of all um, attractions there in Disney. And let's see, after that, we went, next day, we went to, um, California Land. That was a really fun, um, place. There was a lot of different stuff to see. And, uh, different rides to go on. I went on, um, a bunch of rides, actually. Really, really enjoyed it. Especially the Star Tours one. That, that was really great. And what else? Oh, cannot forget. The Buzz Lightyear room ride. That was pretty cool. It, it took you basically on a little thing, and then you go around shooting them um, like squares and that, and you try to score more points. Kind of reminded me of, like an arcade. That one I really enjoyed. And then um, went to the um, place over there. It was like a Star Wars um, museum type of thing, where I met Darth Vader, and that was a really cool place. It had um, little models of the different ships, characters, whatever, etc. So much Star Wars stuff. And that was pretty neat. I really liked it. And then I'm getting to meet um, Darth Vader was pretty cool. Yeah, there, there's so much about Disney. It's really great. Lost shops, restaurants, all different themed. They're every place there's so much stuff. Let's see. Um all the bathrooms were clean. So that's a yay. And may also add, I was talking about bathrooms, is that each bathroom is themed in each attraction. I did not know that. Star Wars bathroom was themed. Um the California one was themed. Uh New Orleans. Oh, I didn't even get to talk about New Orleans. Let me tell you about New Orleans. That little area, this is where the Pirates of the Caribbean ride was at, in um, New Orleans. The, it really gave up, especially the other ride, what was it? Haunted Mansion, alright, yeah, Haunted Mansion ride. Let me tell you, the New Orleans Square area, it really felt like I was in New Orleans, despite uh, me not ever um, going there. It had um, the music playing, the scenery, the design, architecture, all of that was all amazing. But then again, like I said, magic. Disney magic. That was um, quite amazing. Other than that, let's see. I don't think I ever had a problem. I got to see the meet Mickey and um, Winnie the Pooh. I got to meet a bunch of characters. I think me and me, um, Winnie the Pooh is my favorite character to meet. Um. Mostly because of nostalgia. Um, we did go walk around, especially to um, Fantasyland. And Fantasyland is filled with all sorts of stuff. They have a carousel, what else? little rides, and that. I really, I really enjoyed that. That's also where the castle is at. Got to uh, see the castle. That was nice. And then. I think later on that day, we, um, no, 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 it was the next day. After that, we went home to the hotel, and then next day, wait, no, no, I read, I, um, take that back. That night is when we got to see Colors of the World, I think. I'm not, I'm not too certain as, well, I spent a lot of time at Disneyland, so I can't tell the day, so let me tell you about the uh, Colors of the World, um,
event? What? Um, I don't know. But, um, basically, there's a show that goes on, and then they shoot up water, and they have these um projectors projecting animation, and that, and that was really neat. Then later on, when they did introduce Pirates of the Caribbean, um, on the projector, onto the water, that's when they show up fire. That was really awesome. Also, I liked was um, what was it? A restaurant I went to. This restaurant, I can't remember the name of, but it was a cool restaurant. In this restaurant, there was pasta, spaghetti, all that, and pizza. I'll tell you, the pizza was awesome. I ate some pizza. Vegetarian. Really good. After that, um, I think the last day, there we went and there was a parade. That parade was really nice, set up. And, um, what else? Oh, yeah. Later on at night, we, um, experienced, um, not only did we experience the parade, but we experienced seeing, um, it snow, uh, at Disneyland. They, um, set it up, had a fireworks show, very brilliant, very beautiful, and it ended with, um, snow everywhere. I was like, wow. And then just by that, it was very beautiful catching um, snow falling down, especially in the area we're at with the shops and how they had uh, the lights set up. That was very awesome. Just capture that. While we were going back, um, the different shops and stuff, we went to, um, what's it called? They had like a little cinema set up where it showed um, cartoons. Old, old, old school um, Disney cartoons. The reason why I remember this more clearly is because one of the cartoons I saw was um, Steamboat Willie, and that was really, really awesome. That's a very classic um, Disney. Um, I think that might be one of the first um, Mickey Mouse shorts, but um, that was really great just to see these old cartoons. And then looking at cartoons they have now, that was really awesome. And, um, what else? There was a lot that happened. All I can say this trip is something that I have stuck in my mind and I will never forget no matter what. A lot of fun. Also, the California vibe was very awesome. I will admit, I miss California. I dig the vibe there that I got. The trees were awesome. It was a truly awesome place. Um, California is a special place in my heart now. With that being said, the trip was awesome. Everything was awesome. Awesome trip. That's all I have to say. My name is Alejandro, and this was my short little documentary about myself on the trip. <laughs>